Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. It is a Monday morning. Thumbs up for that. The world continues to spin in its orbit around the flaming ball of death. Thumbs up for that. A very good thing. <laughs> It may be a flaming ball of death, but it is also the source of life on this planet. The solar wind, everything that comes crashing in. Without that, there'd be no plants, no animals, no nothing. So, all hail the flaming ball of radioactive death in the sky. <laughs> uh, in a manner of speaking. Well, I am both irate and, well, pretty much irate. I had saved up my energy to insect to take a shower last night and so I gathered up all my stuff and went downstairs and my housemate was deciding to be doing his wash at that point. <sighs> I've been asked to please do my my showers later at night so when I do so I find that they're using the stuff a lot so I'm just gonna have to take a shower this afternoon and then go walkies that night so no walkies yesterday no shower yesterday so thrilled for that I mean it's not like I can take one every day as I've mentioned you know I take a shower about once a week a shower I still sponge bathe I wash I keep myself clean it's just I can't step into the shower it's an hour and a half from when I begin to when I end and I'm done and I am done after I take a shower. So, it's not just something I can do lightly. So, yay. So, no shower, no no walkies. Ugh. It was, it was a weird day yesterday, weather-wise here. Gray, and then bright and gray, and sometimes it feels like it's going to rain. I think it's going to be like that again today. So, joy? And it is a joy. Life is life. Could be worse, could be like it is over in Britain right now. Or at least it has been for the past couple of days. It's been scorching and people have been melting over there. So, yeah. It could be worse over here in the Pacific Northwest. Could be worse. Could be. Could be. Thumbs up for that. And my apologies. Again, I've got a couple flies that I just can't get out of here. I got the window open and it's fun. So I've explained about the forest, the bug factory, the window being open for the cat. So flies get in and it's irritating. There are spiders in the corner, so hopefully they'll do their job. <laughs> yeah. I've been wanting to do more cleaning up because I still have my walk-in closets to do. But boy, I have been so broken since Friday. I have been just having to go to bed early at times because I just cannot stay upright because my back is so broken. And I haven't WD-40'd my chair yet. I got my WD-40, it's right over there. It's just, I, I gotta do it. Now, what was I talking about again? <laughs> I got distracted because of my squeaky chair. I was moderately telling a really stupid thing, but now I can't. Oh, the joys of fibromyalgia and insomnia, further insomnia, took forever to fall asleep last night, and then of course woke up early from pain. Yay! Life is life though, at least I'm surviving. Ah, uh, so far. <laughs> uh. Now, one of the things I also wanted to talk about is just a weird aside. I do have a pack just in case something goes wrong that you may see me with this type it's not a medical thing it's as best that you can find anymore but I've got if you ever see me in a oot in a boot this is my main rewashable one I keep it clean and washed but it's my main one and when this one breaks well I did buy a pack oh once again they're not medical but Anything is better than nothing at all. And I've got some rewashables here. So the problem with these, of course, is at least these are black, so they're not that bad. But they have this very vulvic fold right in the middle. So it's, hmm, 
At least they're not in beige. So, and they've got a nice little thing for the ears. So, I, I, I'm gonna, I'd have to wash it anyway the way I've been handling it so much, but. I wear them whenever I go out into a store or I'm around people. So, thumbs up for that. <laughs> Condensation. You gotta love it. Wear your masks, people. I am old enough that if I get it, there it's increasing in chances that I'm just not just going to walk away. Odds are small. Odds are small that you're going to perish. Very small. You know. But the odds don't matter if your number rolls in there. 2% chance that right now at my age that I will just plain kick off. And they're finding more and more that once you get it, it doesn't matter that you're over it when you're over it. You have lifelong effects afterwards. So joy. But it's not a death sentence. Lots of people that even watch this vi these videos here know this, that it is not just an automatic death sentence. So don't freak out about it. It's not the end of the world. It's just while there is a very small chance you're going to kick off, it is a chance. It's like I've said it before and I'll say it again. If when you went to Walmart, you had to pull a tag before you went in the door, and if out of every 100 tags, two of them were red, and if you pulled that red tag, immediately they pulled you out of the line, put a bullet in the back of your head, and then dumped your corpse into the dumpster with everyone watching, would you stand in line to get in? I wouldn't. So yeah, I don't want to take the chance. <laughs> uh. So that's, that's cool. I've been trying to do things with this membrane keyboard and Russian Timing has very, very kindly offered to purchase me either a brand new mechanical keyboard or a keycap replacement set for the one that I have. While I'd like to sentimentally hang on to the one that I have, because I've had it for the past five years, and it's still a good thing. Unfortunately, sometimes I have to hit like the D key a couple times before it'll register. And now when I hit the U key, it goes U, U. Puts down two of them. So the mechanical keyboard is starting to wear out. So probably a smart thing to do is to take him up on the offer for a brand new mechanical keyboard. One of the reasons that I'm having so much trouble with this keyboard right here is it's not it's not a mechanical keyboard. Now, for what all that means is, if you don't know, there are several types of keyboard key switches on a mechanical keyboard, but largely they all involve some sort of spring that the key physically pushes down on and then conks into the connector down below, and then that's how you make the connection. I've loved those kinds of keyboards my whole life. That's what they, most keyboards were, grow, you know, starting back off in the old days. And then they went into the key, the membranes and the chiclet keys and just, ugh, the membrane types, which is what most of them are nowadays, is it's just, there is a little contact and then there's a large sheet of this latex stuff with all these contacts in it. And then you press the key and it just smooshes the membrane and that makes the connection and then there's the key press. The difference between pressing a key smooshing through a, a rubbery thing, which is why it's called the membrane, and pressing a little spring to make your key goes down is so intense. If I hadn't been using one keyboard one mechanical keyboard with cherry switches, I'd probably be a little bit better at swapping onto this membrane keyboard. But even now, like four or five days later, I am having so much troubles just pressing the keys right, finding where they have to go. They don't feel right. They don't click. They don't push. They 
mush. And that's what membrane keys do. They don't click and push and have tactile feedback. They mush. Now they do have hybrid keyboards that are a mixing of membrane and switches and springs. I don't know how they work. I don't know if they're any good. They may be. But after five years of using a really nice Cherry Switch keyboard, oh boy, I am having so much troubles with this. Part of it is just muscle, muscle memory. You know, my, my hands are used to where they have to go because they're used to these keys, that keyboard. This ain't nothing like that. This is nothing like that. This is, let's see if I can, well, no, it's gonna, I got my microphone so it hovers over my keyboard with one of the, the cable comes out the bottom of it and I have to loop it in such a way because there was damage done to the microphone and the connectors are being broken so I keep it where it is without moving much so I can't bring the keyboard out to show you but it's just a, like a $20 Logitech thing so you know they work they're fine I can't complain because as stated they work it's nice to be able to type but oh my god the mushy feeling is just horrid <laughs> first world problems definitely first world problems oy vey past that I mean I've just been surviving I've been trying to play games and some of them I've been able to do better than others I can actually play Minecraft and things like that and Terraria other 2d crafting survival games that sort of thing not that bad because you there's not a quick oh you have to do stuff fast like you would in a shooter so I can at least do those games and survive and and have fun I tried playing some of the shooters oh my gosh I, aside from trying to remember where the keys are I'm used to I'm a mechanical keyboard I had the convex kinds of keys they they were deeply convex so you could rest your fingertips inside of them and then I replaced them with a keycap set of like an old typewriter thing so they're circular again deeply indented so you could rest your fingers kind of inside the keys this is not like that in fact the keys are slightly convex they're rounded and upward and boy my fingers just slide right off and then I'm always having to look down at the keyboard to make sure that my hands go right because I can't locate how it feels. Oh, again, first world problems. <laughs> but with that, I've been trying my best just to survive. I've been trying to think of creative stuff when I can, which wasn't a lot yesterday. I was having falling asleep problems again. The heat my insomnia and then just general state of exhaustion i can't feel the rails rumble under my feet when on comes the the freight train of sleep i have barely anything running in my background barely anything at all and i'm watching i mean i'm using my webcam software primarily just for audio and then i'm showing just little clips in the corners out of the webcam video but it keeps catching and lagging as I'm talking so I'm hoping that the audio isn't catching and lagging as well <sighs> and I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab and I'm gonna go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment <coughs> <coughs> I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward. Thumbs up each one I do. Answer as many as I can. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. And even though I count an American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, and more, I'm lucky I can remember anything at all. I'm getting better all the time, but one day I'm going to hit a functional limit, and that's going to be fun. But still... We have Sir Smile, thank you very, very much, and Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. Confused Owl 29, thumbs up and thank you. Kathy Kitzkat, good to see you in the comments. We have Hunter, thank you very much. Nolan Florence, 
greatly appreciated. ASAP Frost Bite? I'd say bite, but the B is an eight. You know, that sort of thing. So very, very cool. Thumbs up and oh I can't remember where I was. Lucifer, am I that was a four? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lucifer is eight? Good lord, my brain. <laughs> The Happy Hooker, nine. And then we have Mr. Ruin for the win. Thumbs up and thank you. Carmina, greatly appreciated. Capney, thumbs up and thank you. If Adino, thumbs up. Arnazio, thank you very, very much. Elder Wolf, five, six, nine. And then we have Starfruit, 77, thumbs up. And Kapoki, thumbs up and thank you. We have Apollo is Overwhelmed, greatly appreciated. Garrett Gale, thumbs up and thank you. Colin Reisenauer, Thumbs up. We have It's Gehenna. Thumbs up. Al Boz. L B O Z Z. Thumbs up and thank you. Sebastian Ferris. Greatly appreciated. Captain Red Claw. Thumbs up. And last but not least, least, least <laughs> Kenneth Landon. Thumbs up and thank you all so very much. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. If even in text, it still helps. Thank you very, very much. <clears throat> if you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you'd like to help me out but you don't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. That would be cool if you could check it out. And if you wanted to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list link as well. With things like hamster food, cat food, hamster bedding, silly things, not silly things. If you could check it out, that would be very, very cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very, very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. <coughs> a definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. That would be very, very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to. But if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Definitely thumbs up. Didn't mean to make my voice catch when I was saying that, though. How about that? Well, I have this video. I have another video I need to edit and render. I still actually have that game channel video waiting to be edited and rendered. Ugh. But I need to make some phone calls. Hopefully I can get some of that done today. That would be a good thing. So, you take care. Have a great day today fitting all over the place. I <laughs> will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. Be safe, practice your social isolation, wear a mask, and 1312, justice for way too many people. Take care. <laughs>